So let's get into this tea. We're about to get into Messy Monday. Let's get it. Girl, it is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday. And you know what that means? If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock and then I'ma talk shit. Got my sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you want to sell now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P. You can't stick with me. Come on, girls. Let's get Messy Monday. Hey creeps and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP and that is pretty on purpose. How are you doing? We're literally on the second week of September. If you don't give yourself a pat on the back because you is running through these months like diarrhea, child, I <laughs> to tell you, this shit moving so fast you can't even be sad long. So you better get the fuck up and keep it going. Get up and keep it going because baby, that's all we can do is keep going, but be strong, okay? Shouts out to you, babe. All right, so, y'all all right? Is everybody good? Is, is y'all okay? Because it seems like everybody got something going on. Okay, so, before we get started, I want to give a shout out to my friend, and that is Miss Ramen. Hey, bitch. Miss Ramen, thank you so much for having my post notifications on. Girl, you was kind of a tie with somebody else. I don't know. It was really six to y'all, and I was just like, in and men and mine and more. Pick a bitch by us. Oh, girl, I picked you, Miss Ramen. So thank you for being the first to comment on my Twitter page. Um, you have my post notifications on. I greatly appreciate that. If y'all go over to her page and show her some love by retweeting, liking, following her Instagram, whatever the case may be, ask, hey, bitch, let's collab on something, music, YouTube, whatever, woo, woo, woo. You do that because we are as a Navy, and one thing we going to do is support each other and build as a team. Ain't that right? So thank you, Miss Ramen, for loving me. And I'm gonna always love you. Hey, bitch. All right, let's get into y'all's favorite part, and that is the shit, the sugar honey iced tea. Because you girls love staying in some shit. First for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Ari. Yeah, honey, this is crazy. Because y'all know one thing about it. Ari ain't afraid to clap back at anybody. So I don't even know why y'all be trying Ari, baby. But it is what it is. So somebody came out and tweeted, Ari is a weird bitch, and I don't like her. And not only that, baby, they added her too. Like, girl, you gonna see this. So oh, I came back and said, oh, okay. You ain't said nothing for the word. I don't like <laughs> your ugly ass either, bitch. And don't try to <laughs> jump back on my dick when the show come out. Stank ho. And I'm like, told you. I knew it. Something about it was her a story line. son thing is just weird to me. I think it was for the show, y'all. I'm telling you. But some folk on the curb saying, no, nah, baby. They deleting them videos. I think they just privated the videos and they hold it out until the show because this is social media. You gotta give the people shit. You gotta make that shit believable. Like it's really a so we can talk about it. Y'all will never trick me on my position. Fall out. I don't know y'all. Now, hypothetically speaking. That's probably why you don't see Ari really addressing it because they really still fucks with each other. Because y'all know one thing about Ari, she gonna pop her shit. I don't know. Anyway, somebody then gonna say, girl, just address the rumors. We tired of these inspirational quotes and shit. Girl, just tell us what the fuck going on. So Ari said, girl, that ain't for you anyway. You have no hope. Get the fuck out my bitch. Damn. I like it. Damn. Well, at least she didn't call the girl broke. That's good. So then the other girl that she was just frying up at the beginning who started all this, she come back and she said, well, girl, I'm sorry. I love you. The bitch. <laughs> and she said, oh, girl, you is the loser. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is going on? Coming back, apologizing to some of you. <laughs> and she just cut out. It's not a follicle after getting embarrassed. <laughs> is y'all scared of her or what? Nah, baby. Stay on business. You said what you said. So I don't know. Y'all tell me what you think of the comments. Do y'all think she trying to spin this to make it seem like Tucson did this shit for the show? Or do y'all think she really did him wrong? Like, nah, Bookie, stand on what you did. What's y'all see the cuz? It's given for the show. Maybe it is what it is, and then what happened happened. So so far, girl, you didn't give him that it money. It seemed like it was real, but her not responding is a little sketchy. This thing, and you fucked over your friend, and then you lost your other friend too, and you lost that. Girl, you done lost four people. I don't think this for no show. 
Y'all don't tell me, girl. Oh, this nasty. The girls is nasty. If it ain't about me, we gonna see what happened in season three. Miss K. Next for the sugar honey iced tea, we have chocolate. Now y'all know just a couple of weeks ago, he was down there in Atlanta doing his ones and twos for the LGBT community. And the girls out there over there hollering, taking their pictures and things like that. Mm. Nigga, you gay. Now, word on the curb, the girls were saying, okay, child, he's being half naked when he go to these straight clubs, and when he went to the gay club, he fully clothed like he going skin. I don't know. But then you got other girls saying, oh, y'all shut up. At least he came to the LGBT clubs and trying to show us some support. So, honey, don't get me the line. I feel he just went for that bag. He didn't get not now full <laughs> about nobody in that shit. That man went in that cellar speech. <laughs> Hopped around the stairs like a bunny rabbit and got off honey. Mm -hmm. I said, girl. So after he did that, y'all, a couple days passed, and he gonna tweet, I'm coming out. <laughs> I said, what? Coming out them drawers? Because where you coming out of? I know it ain't no closet, child. Twitter's in an uproar. Like, what is going on? We done lost NLE. Woo -woo -woo. And I'm just like, see, that's the problem. Y'all. I was about to say, y'all know NLE ass ain't gay, but girl, you never know these days. I mean, tell me he's supposed to come out. But I feel like everybody look gay. Then when they come out, y'all don't fuck with them no more. Oh my God, I can't believe that we done lost another one. What you mean lost another one, ain't bitch? See, that's why they be staying DL and then y'all get mad and be like, oh, they didn't come out. Y'all so fickle. So after that, he let that fester for a minute and he didn't say nothing, start putting out his little provocative pictures and shit up on the internet trying to reel the girls in. He did come out with the paper magazine. And he was just like, no, my coming out was new music, my new duck shoes, do this. You got new stuff coming out. So, girl, she was playing on words. Bitch, you know the fuck what? This man is playing with the gays because he know these folks love him. And he is over here gay baiting. I don't know. They say he playing with y'all, taking y'all coin because he know. I would gay bait too. And if y'all going to fall for it. Fuck it. Y'all know that man ain't gay. He got y'all. He done found a new way to make this money. That's so it. Said, child, stop, look. Ain't no straight man finna come out here and play gay just to drop no song. Come on out there, Paul. No, guy. Y'all leave this man alone. Said, oh, For real, though. No. He was testing the waters. And you saw that shit was high. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you got the fuck out. <laughs> My baby daddy. He's not gay. He is not gay. <laughs> he's not gay he just trolled y'all cause y'all think he gay or whatever the f I don't know why y'all troll him but it's a marketing strategy it's a attention seeking thing like <laughs> he not gay um, he don't even give gay I mean if he was that's his preference so that too man, man. I say do with y'all the girls for the pay for it and you can play in their face and play in their face. But hey, whatever work for him, get your coin, sus. All right, what y'all think? If it ain't about me, let's be key. Miss K. Ha! Gay! <laughs> Next for the Shook Honey Ice Tea, we have Krishan Rock. So, Krishan is now home and she is in good spirits. And while she was at home, she decided that she wanted to go live. I don't know, I'm in the flesh. Here go Big Rock in the motherfucking flesh. I got free a couple of hours ago, yeah. Hey yo, you know, I really want cut cut up, but I got so much stuff. Oh my god. It's so much I wanna say. But I like surprising y'all. This is fun. The oh my god. anticipation is crazy. So but did the internet go off? It did. Over here. Are y'all still there? I don't got nothing to say. I, you know what I do got? I am released though. Why is y'all saying? This I'm, video still on though. What happened to the goddamn Wi-Fi? Still like that. We gave God okay, all the yeah, Spill the tea. Man. I'm about to get up off here. I'm getting scared already. Okay, let me just say thank you, Lord. Okay, thank you, Jesus, for this um this revamp. I got all my well, I'm getting all my stuff out the box. Okay, now it's stop. Oh, Google right there. 
Oh, girl, because now I just came back on. Like, what? Way so I can, like, be effective and just in my son's life for real. And then I ain't gonna hold you. I'm working on my purity, y'all. Like, that's, you know, I, mean? I don't know what happened, y'all, but we back. Like, okay, oh, yeah, I'm getting my life together. I gotta get my money. No, it's really like. <sighs> yeah, I know. And then, like, just really walking that walk, talking that talk. I don't really got nothing bad to say. So, y'all, I have to keep remembering. Krishan and Rob is 23 years old. We out here saying, oh my God, the first thing she do is run to the internet. She go to IG. That's what they do now. You know what I'm saying? It's the new generation. They run. They tell their whole life story on the internet. Woo woo woo. Yada yada So then you got the girls on the other side of the third saying, do y'all think this girl changed in three months? Are you dumb? <laughs> or are you stupid? Yeah, I don't know. Because when she was pregnant for the nine months, a lot of people in the street saying, ooh, the baby gonna change her. She gets changed and my good sis came back out popping her shit. But if we gonna be real, she said all this last time, and shit got worse. So we speaking positivity over her, but baby, you gonna have to show us, Sean, cause girl. So I guess this mean we back in the group chat. <laughs> All right, y'all. At least the baby got his mama back. Now we gonna wait, you know, for Papa, whatever the case may be. Let's just, you know, let's just be in good spirit. If it ain't about me, let's get keepin' okay? Next for the sugar honey iced tea, we have baby. baby. Now. Hopefully that Krishan is home. We can go on and push this one out the way. <laughs> oh, I'm about tired of her. She been on Miss Monday every week with this man. So Bad Baby had something to say to the people because they was talking about the caption she made. My favorite part of life. And everybody was like, okay, girl, hold up. <laughs> what about your child? You know what I'm saying? And she was like, okay, y'all can just shut the hell up because he gave me my child. So if he gave me my child, I must love him. You know what I'm saying? So he is a favorite part of my life, whatever the case may be. If I'm still here, obviously he is doing something right. That's basically what she said. It is what it is. And I'm just like, girl, shut the fuck up. You can keep him. Please hold him tight. Don't nobody so want no him. No other woman has to deal with the bullshit that you is dealing with. Okay? okay. We don't want him. We don't care. Keep him. And he I'm belongs like, girl, to the streets. What you say? I don't care how much you praise him. Ain't nothing gonna make me stay with no man that is throwing me around like a sack of potatoes. No. Baby. I'm sorry. What Hell the fuck did no. he possibly be doing right? Not hitting you right now. So then she was basically saying, and I'ma just keep cutting the comments off and y'all opinions don't matter. Well, girl, I hate when y'all do that because didn't nobody ask you to come to us and tell us he was knocking you upside your head? We didn't ask you that. You Tell him, Zoe. I don't mean understand that. Y'all just be in people business. Yeah, we want to say Jane when they be. We just be in people business. Girl, didn't nobody ask y'all for that information? I swear. Like somebody woke up and was like, can you give me some of your business right quick, girl? You came to us. So now when we telling you something, you want to get upset about what we saying, about why you saying, why you ain't leaving. Well, you should have kept us the fuck out your business. Hello. Now, she got to remember, she took that man back after two days and busted her head in. Ain't nobody changed like that. You didn't even give him time to feel bad for what he did. So let her be happy. That's on her. Y'all need to be asking why the fuck he got all them clothes on on the beach and she half naked. What's, what's going on now? You know what? If it ain't about me, <laughs> Let's keep keeping it. Okay. <laughs> Next to the ducket, we have Lena. Now, baby, Lena uh, always be finding herself in some mess. Lena done made Messy Monday. Oh, I know she gonna hate that. I'm like, girl, why don't you just, just go sit down and be a mama? Cause, girl, you blink wrong. The girls is coming, bitch. You even call. Why the fuck you call, Lena? So she was defending <laughs> her and Kaiser up under some comments because people. <laughs> Y'all mess it up. Y'all mess, y'all mess it up. Because Kaiser, <laughs> Kaiser made a post to his son saying, you know, happy birthday. So girls, <laughs> somebody went up under the comments and they said, <laughs> happy birthday, Dwayne, Dwayne Jr. <laughs> 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 Why in the hell are y'all like this? Why y'all say that? That's so disrespectful. That's just so disrespectful, y'all. Y'all know that that man. <laughs> that that man's son. Why y'all say that? So he said, you look 
hunger, go eat. And I said, oh, king. And you know you shouldn't have said that. Your girl was just in, your, was just in a situation with Neek when she thought Neek was body shaming about calling her up there. Up there. I had texted her because it's like they're coming. <laughs> Truthfully, y'all, I feel like I read more comments that were coming for me than they were coming for King. And I'm like, what? Like, how am I to blame? It, it's like, if all fails, Lena's the blame. Like, it all boils down, Lena is the bottom blame. And I'm like, what? So it's just like, yeah, I had texted her very maturely, very respectful. Very much early. at her. Everything I stated was a fact. And then, like, yeah, she started body shaming me, and she called me, like, Biggie and Humpty Dumpty, and then she blocked me. <laughs> so, so, I don't know. I Lena's point of view because you know that is a man. If somebody's talking about my man, then baby, I'm standing ten toes behind my man. I don't care for who you is. You know what I'm saying? I don't care for what he said. And like she said, if it's another woman coming at her man, then she gonna say shit. But then I see where y'all at because y'all like, well, girl, he talking about this girl body weight, but you were just upset because somebody was talking about your body weight, so you need to just be quiet. Lena wrote her whole little thing like she always, you know, once she get to going, girl, she don't never shut up. She just be talking, 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 talking. Just be talking, jam, so jam, jam. Said, well, girl. You always coming in for his defense, but he don't ever say shit for somebody talking about he you. He don't. That's why people getting mad at him. Because they said, girl, you always in service. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all don't ever see King come in and be like, don't be talking about my shoulder like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Probably because he don't ever see it. You know, y'all know he focusing on being a ninja. Y'all gonna leave my friend alone. That's what you gonna do. And yourself in his business. Just shut up. All he gotta do is ignore him too. But because he wanna reach out and say something back, you know they gonna clap back. But that's your internet, that's your phone. You can do what you wanna do. He gonna pray for those who are lost on the net thinking this is real life. And I'm just like, girl, keep that prayer because I don't need it. You said all that. You say I'm gonna pray for you. Y'all love these fake prayers, baby. Okay. She ain't said not one prayer. Okay. And then she just dyed her hair for it to still look the same. What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Talk about that girl next for All right, well, if it ain't about me, let's eat key next case. Next to the docket, we have Eric Banks. Now, I don't know about y'all, but this was messy because Rich Homie Kwan just passed away. The man ain't even in the ground yet. And y'all wanna pop out as the other girl. Yo, in the ground yet is crazy. <laughs> if you couldn't post that stuff when he was here, then why you posting it now? Stay in the closet. Everybody want to be in LA and come out. Go back. And to me, that's fucked up because as a girlfriend to find out that your man was doing all of this <coughs> and you ain't even had 24 hours to process him being dead, that's crazy. Like the streets are saying, Erica, you are not going to be on the obituary. What was the purpose? Now you got some other people. Definitely wasn't gonna be on no obituary. On the curb saying that girlfriend knew what was going on. You know what I'm saying? She probably knew he had other girlfriends, whatever the case may be. But even if she knew that he had other girlfriends and she was dealing with it, this is not the time to come out and say, oh, he was mine too. I don't know. These girls love being cold slob. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you wanna be a side, be a side. Uh, know your place and run your race. <laughs> <laughs> Coleslaw just took me the fuck up out of here, okay? Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. Comes out, she says, Look, I understand you might be hurt, baby, but take these down. Out of the respect for the family. You was a secret, and I'm not saying what y'all had wasn't real, but some stuff should remain a secret because here comes all the unwanted hate. And not only that, two other girls come out and do the exact same thing, and I'm just like, oh my God. I'm doing these just for y'all that's in the comments or whatever. Obviously, y'all can't read. I literally said that I lost a great friend. That was my friend. I've known him since March. I did a 20 v one with him and we've been cool ever since. You don't have me on Instagram. You don't have me on Snapchat. I mostly be on those two. I've posted him before he died on both platforms. He was supposed to even come to my hometown to do a show. This was business. This was a friend. So the fact that y'all sitting up there doing all that, y'all really trolling. Like, I'm not Erica. I'm not deleting nothing. Y'all can feel how y'all feel. But I'm going to grieve how I want to grieve. And I'm going to pop it like I want to pop it. Just like he would want me to. So, I hope y'all 
jitteries y'all day. Oh, one thing about a man, baby, he sure is gonna embarrass you. But shit like this will make the girlfriend bury your ass and not even think about looking back. She'll forget you as quick as she put you under that ground because bitch, what? Cause y'all could have cried and reminisced privately the same way y'all was messing with him privately. But if you ask me, how many fucking hours in the day did he have? Because how the hell did you get to this one and that one and this one and focus on the main one all in 24 hours of a day? Because, bitch, I be trying to get two hours down. And I know the girlfriend is over there like, fuck this shit. <laughs> Somebody on the street said, y'all, she finna heal faster than the Wolverine. <laughs> I know you like that. That casket finna be flipped over. Like, fuck it, throw it in there. Ooh, y'all girls. Just, ugh. And can I just tell y'all coleslaw and macaroni women something? The man ain't find out. But y'all already know about them. So, bitch, you look stupid. Okay. For real, for real. Some things you just kind of got to take to the grave, my nigga. It ain't about me. Let's get geek. Okay. Next with the Chagone Ice Tea, we have Megan Thee Stallion and Tori Craig. Now these two aren't going at it with each other in that way, but the word on the curve is they might be going at it. So Megan was spotted in NYC with Chicago's bull player, Tori Craig. Now if you don't remember, just last week there was a video going around with both of them doing the couples challenge. Most likely challenge couples edition. Who's most likely to get arrested? Who's the better kisser? Who said I love you first? Who starts? Girl, that Megan Thee Stallion moves on quickly. I just, yeah, she gonna keep her one, baby. She gonna keep her one. The most arguments. <laughs> Who needs the most attention? Come on. Who's the better cook? Who's the most spoiled? <laughs> Who's the funniest? Who has the better style? <laughs> Who takes longer to get ready? I do. <laughs> Whose mother-in-law likes them more? And now y'all out in the public? Rendezvous on this time. One thing about Megan, baby, she gonna get rid of a fine man and get another fine man. Hello, somebody. But that name Tori would have sent me through the fire. <laughs> like, wait a minute. That would have been a little PTSD. Like, okay. His name Tori. I missed that. Oh my God. Girl, you leave a Tori for another Tori? Uh, I don't want to talk to no Tory, see no, no Tory, Tory. Think about no Tory. No Tory. Even write the name Tory. Nah, Tory. Black. Girl, out. I could barely say anybody's name when I fall out with him. I create one. Y'all, you know, fuck you. Out to Megan and Tory. Y'all do y'all thing, honey. But the girls in the curb, <laughs> they said, y'all, she moved faster than Mexican music. And <laughs> <laughs> she needs to sit on down for a while. Tell them what she need to do with her vagina. Faster her than her Mexican up. music, y'all. Open it up, let people go on her pocketbook. We gonna wish them a peaceful relationship. If y'all got any arguing y'all need to do, leave it alone. Cause Tori, you saw what happened to the other Tori. <laughs> Just child, walk away, okay? <laughs> All right, baby. If it ain't about me, she has a T Y P E. Next game. Next for the Shagani Ice Tea, we have Bob Light versus Tali. <laughs> baby, when I think oh yeah, I gotta is react to not, that. Everybody here is getting now. Now, Tommy and Bobby done fell out. Yes, Tommy did hit me. This is the scar. I was dripping blood down my face. I made a joke out of it. Okay. There's the eye. Busted. You're supposed to be my friend. Now, you wouldn't say the things you say to me, and you wouldn't treat me the way you treat me every time you see me all because I might be with Natalie or you feeling some type of way about me hanging. I already told y'all and Natalie knows this. Everybody knows this. When I'm with Natalie, we're not talking about Tommy. When I'm with Tommy, we're not talking about Natalie. I keep it mutual. If you know me, if you really know me personally, you know my spirit, you know my heart. Okay. For what? Uh-uh. Do y'all think it's any such thing as mutual? You think you could really be friends with somebody, they over there kicking it with somebody you don't like and you don't think that they talking about you? 
Y'all believe that shit? Because I don't. Uh-uh. That's why I just tell everybody, choose your side. Choose your side. You make that bed, you lay in it. No, ma'am. Whatever reason, Tommy... Call me insecure, whatever you want to call me. I don't care. <laughs> Won't be talking about me when I'm not there. Cannot believe that she has a real friend in me. Like, she has... Like, I wouldn't be able to tell you nothing. You get what I'm saying? I'm not going to want to tell you where I'm at. I'm not going to want to tell you what I'm doing. Because I feel like you're going to go tell the op. Oh, hell. Y'all telling each other shit? I don't know. Nope. Issues or whatever the fuck the issue is. I don't know. The whole night at the reunion, she was acting weird to me, being weird. Uh, because I missed her call prior to that night. I did not see her call. So since we want to lay things out on the table, you want to say all these things on TikTok. Let's say what really happened. Roly pounced on you. Your wig came the fuck off. And everybody wanted to take your wig and start making a joke out of it and wearing it and stuff. So I said, no, give me the wig. I said, give me her wig. Toe Production, give me your wig. And I was bringing it personally to you backstage discreetly when no one could even see that you was getting the wig so you could put it back on. As soon as I come even giving you the wig, you lash out and hit me. Why? Because you on 10 and you feeling some type of way. You should have motherfucking hit Roly. is what you should have did. Same way she absolutely should have hit Roly, but she, you was playing both sides, and that's a problem. And I know y'all may not think that. Some people may not think that. Unfortunately, that would be the time you would have to choose a side. I would have been mad you were still in there, because why you ain't right here with me? Uh-uh. You lash out on me, you should have did that to Roly. That's why I don't fuck with people, y'all. This is not the first time Tommy has cracked my tooth before. What? Okay. Tommy hey. has hit me. First of all, we wouldn't be cool anyway. You you hit me all the time. In front of major, or a major artist, two major artists that I'm friends with. And I won't even say their names at all to kick them out of the bullshit. But it was so embarrassing. Like, wilding out on me because you're drunk. Hit me, broke both of my earrings, it costs $800, and I don't give a fuck if it's not a lot of money to you. To me, that I like those earrings from Acne Studio. She be causing so much damage to me, and I never, ever say nothing. Ever. Never take it to the blog, never take it to the streets, never take it to, I mean, to the internet, never take it to any, like, I just, I literally, I know that she has her own issues she de she's dealing with, and she's not perfect, like anybody on this earth. But when, again, when you start slandering my name, and when you start making up lies and when you c calling me out my name and, say and saying just horrible things about me and you're supposed to be my friend, that's flaw as fuck. Tommy is gorgeous as fuck. Tommy is a fashionista. Tommy got so much personality. Tommy got so much. She can cook. She got, she, she has a great loving side to her. But when she gets turned, and whatever the fuck, if it's Chardonnay, whatever the fuck it is, it gets her to that point. It's just a whole nother Tommy, and I'm just, and I... Now, if Tommy not bust you in the head and done crack your teeth, then, baby, only thing I heard in my head was this. You ain't my friend. <laughs> you ain't my enemy. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. You know, this attention-seeking thing that everybody does when... It's not about them, and they want attention so, 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 so bad. They go through extreme measures. So let's get into it. Bobby has been an associate. I wouldn't call him a friend. Damn. Like the things that I've witnessed throughout the years, shit like that, it don't matter how genuine you are to some people, they just who they are. And they know how to do that fake shit and feel a way about you and still be in your face. Me, you're not gonna get that. If I don't like you or Excuse if me. I don't feel your spirit, I don't feel your vibe, you won't catch me around you. That's just who I am. Brian had a second house in Miami in his building or whatever. We live down the hall from each other. We cook, all of that. You know, been around my family, my daughters, all that, all that. You get what I'm saying? So never would I think that you hold some type of jealousy or 
secret animosity towards me till I start seeing the signs. Now, every time we get around people, you're a whole nother person. It's getting weird. I'm the same person who... Now, I believe that. When we in a club, and we around my real good friends, they're not gay. They don't want that look. They don't want somebody bouncing around, being flamboyant in their section. Which I thought was kind of mean. You get what I'm saying? I'm just like, this is, you get what I'm saying? Nigga, if you know you're not gay, I done got into it with some of my real friends. Like, if you know you're not gay, then what's the problem with him being here? Like, I'm getting into, like, disputes and conversations with my friends because I feel like um, they're being homophobic or they're being weird. You get what I'm saying? To my friend, and he's a cool guy. He's funny. He's a, you know what I'm saying? So that's, like, been my life with you, basically. The same type of person that you would call in Atlanta, your dog got sick, you needed a couple hundred dollars, Tommy, could you help me? Birkin's dying, crying. Remember that shit, Patrick? <laughs> Remember Birkin was about to die? All type of shit you to call me for about money, this and that. So it's beginning to be like a leech situation, which is cool. This is my friend, nothing to it. But since he's lost, um, you know, He's lost like who I really am. And so he's telling all of these lies. I don't know what the fuck it is. Like you've been hanging out with people that didn't like me or still don't like me at the time. Two to two in the chat. I didn't think nothing of it because you're not my good Judy like that. You're not my punk. You're not somebody that I vent to or I call when I'm having a real life situation. And we just don't have that. You're just somebody that's fun to party with sometimes. You get what I'm saying? you fun to like go out or I'll see you out. And it's nothing. Oh, it's it's, you know what I'm saying? Come on. That I gain nothing from being your friend. Nothing. Absolutely nothing but a fucking headache. Probably y'all live good. You know this. I've let you into my lifestyle several times. You drove my Ferrari, flipped in my house for weeks when you was in LA and you have nobody. When those people wasn't your friends, you, you stayed with me. You've ate at my house. We've cooked. All of this stuff. So where is this coming from? You don't got to be fake. All you got to do is not fuck with me. She felt like he switched up on her. <clears throat> and he probably did not even realizing how um he started acting different towards her and y'all i can't i can't man i hate the fact well it's a gift and a curse because i don't want it to go away it's a gift and a curse to see shit for what it really is when you get to see shit for what it really is it'd be like Mm. And most of the time you already knew You know what I'm saying um, I used to be the friend that would go above and beyond For my so called friends But I had to learn very fast That that's not what they, That's not the energy that I was receiving And it'll make you lash out Right it make you lash out and do some crazy shit That you never even thought you would do So you just got to stay away from, you know what I'm saying, them type of people. And you can't be out here giving 100% to people and they only giving you 10%. You know what I'm saying? I had to learn that right there. Woo. It's a great I lesson. I friends and I don't care too much about that shit. I got a big ass family. It's like seven of us, seven brothers and sisters, bitch. And ain't nothing for me to bitch not be a bitch friend. Huh? Who? Now after listening to that, Tommy, I fucked you. I love you. But you contradicted yourself, sweetie, because if this man is not your friend and he's an associate, then I'll be damned. I'm not bringing the associates and some people who I'm not close with around my family, let alone my children. And then you driving my cars, and I ain't talking about no Toyota, no little Hyundai, no offense to nobody. But this man driving you, what you say, a Ferrari? Yeah, that's what you said. Ain't no associate doing all that, Tommy. Now, if we gonna call a spade a spade, does this happen when y'all are under the influence of things, or this is just y'all whenever? Because if it's when y'all are under the influence of things, because we do know sometimes when Tommy get drunk, she can get a little aggressive. If that's the case, then y'all just need to start hanging out with each other when y'all is indulging in your extracurricular activities, son. So I don't know, child, if folks on the curb is saying, why the hell Bobby crying? Because he be acting the same damn way. <laughs> With both, <laughs> girl, I don't know. The word on the curb is saying the reason she knocked you like that is because you came up to her body and said, "Oh my God, what did you do to your face?" Now, if that's the first thing you said to that woman when you saw her, you supposed to be her friend. I'm sorry, friend. I'm popping you too. All right. If it ain't about me, let's get in this case. All right. That's all I have for the sugar honey ice tea. Let's, let's get, get into, into this mess. First of the ducket, we have Cleopatra versus Ice Spice. Now, honey, this is 
messy. Y'all remember that girl, Baby Stormy, tried to warn y'all, and she was telling y'all Ice Spice is this type of way, but no, everybody want to say she was this and she was that, and she was just talking and to be quiet, whatever case they be, whoop, 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 yada, yada, yada. Clea Trapp will come out, and she say this exact same stuff, that Ice Spice is selfish, she's inconsiderate, she's evil, and whoop, 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 whoop. So people had noticed that Cleo had unfollowed Ice Spice right after the tour, and I mean immediately after the tour. So in the midst of people saying, girly, she got her bag and she honored her deal, she came out, she was like, y'all think I got paid, it's hilarious. I got played, betrayed, and unpaid. I never had a problem with not being paid, by the way, because I knew that. I just want everyone to stop thinking I was paid because I wasn't. Now, baby, when she said that, the girl gagged. So now it's like, what happened? What's going on? Give us the tea, because Ice Spice ain't saying nothing. So honey, Cleo ends up going live on TikTok and she spilled it all. This video isn't to bash anyone. This is for me to speak on my experience and what I went through. I understand that no matter what the opportunity is, nobody should make you feel less than or make you feel like shit because they gave you an opportunity. It does not matter. It does not give a door, a open <laughs> way for somebody to try to humiliate you or try to make you feel less than. And I feel as though being such a confident black woman, I'm sorry, <laughs> I didn't, look, I'm actually fuck as a black woman. <laughs> black woman, <laughs> a confident one, who knows exactly who she is and exactly what she wants in this world, people are so intimidated by it. And it's either you're intimidated and scared of it, or you love it. And you have one time to show me that you are jealous, intimidated, untrustworthy, fake, disloyal. And one time. Genuine, manipulative, and calculated. And I promise you that will be the last time you ever play with me. Now I will break down how it ended. And for a lot of people that don't know, me and Ice did not grow up together. That is not my childhood friend. I met her two years ago. <coughs> Before she blew up, I was very supportive of her. Before she even blew up, I was somebody that genuinely liked her. I was like, this girl is so cute. I've seen her video on my explore. She didn't even drop her viral song yet. And I was so supportive of her. Deserve to know why we are not friends anymore because a lot of y'all loved us being together. You guys do deserve to know why we're not friends. Y'all do deserve to know who y'all are just with. Y'all love her so much. Y'all deserve to know who that girl is as an actual human being. Fuck looks. All of that as a human being at your soul. So the ending of July, I get a call from Ice um, very early in the morning. Cleo, come on tour with me. I miss you. Come. And I'm just like, girl, I'm not about to come on tour with you and watch you perform all month. Like, I got uh, <laughs> I got stuff that I could be doing. I could be getting money. I have opportunities. She's like, no, I want you to perform. And I gag. You want me to perform? She ain't never, ever, ever, ever brought me out on stage. I was like, oh, wait. I had this is what I'm thinking. I'm like, I guess she's really trying to make up for that fake that got exposed, like, a month ago. Like, she's really trying to, like, you know, be an actual friend. Because that shit was weird as fuck. And I checked her about that shit. And even for her to apologize was like pulling teeth. Like, girl, you got caught calling your friend. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I swear, we done reacted to that. Oh, damn. Crazy. How are you going to invite me on tour? And then when I'm on tour with you, you're treating me like I'm just the help. Baby, I'm not the help. We're supposed to be friends here. Even if you have given me a stage, I thank you for that. But don't throw in my face something that you offered to do for me. So, honey, I spice come out and this was she said. Like, we was... At the, we was at the movie theaters. We was siphon. You not gonna tell the people how we was at an Italian restaurant and you ate so much food, you can vacuum, that the server was like, where did the food go? Like, stop it right now. Thousand listeners. That's one place. And I'm sharing my stage with you and you feeling so entitled. Like, you thinking that my 
my like my peoples that work for me is supposed to work for you too like that's so crazy to me like how i'm in the shower you go you go how do you, how does she think that that's crazy you invited me i need help why am i paying anything when you invited me virgin while i'm but i think it trying to press me about some bags. it's two different like, types of people in this world bags. Bro. what like it's two different types of people in this world nah that's that bro but That's all I could do, y'all. All I could do is sigh about it. Because it's just like, what can you do, bro? It's like, damn. Crash outs and they going on rants, bro. Crash outs and they going on rants. But so at the end of the day, it's whatever, bro. Like, comes with it, you know? Like, y'all see clearly, this, that, this, this will come with it, bro. All right, so what you saying ain't making sense. None. Hell the fuck, yes. If you invite me on tour, then sweetie... And, 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 hold on, Zoe. She talking about one place. When you was at the Italian restaurant, and they was like, damn, where the food go? Girl, she probably was so damn hungry, the food disappeared. Because she was hungry. Hasn't eaten in a minute. Fuck around with you. Your security people or your team should be treating me as such. If my bags need to be taken up, I feel my bags need to be taken up. You invited me. You know what I'm saying? And then, girl, a chicken salad? What is a chicken salad? I ain't saying... And then and she got the nerve to say you was in an Italian restaurant eating like a vacuum. Well, bitch, what the fuck you supposed to do inside of a restaurant? Sit there and twiddle your thumb? No, ho, I'm finna eat. If I want to suck down 10 plates, bitch, I'm sucking down 10 plates. What are you saying? So, honey, I don't know about y'all. I believe Miss Cleo. I, I really do believe her. And I feel like that's another reason why Nikki done fell out with Ice Spice and her best friend. Fell out. If everybody is falling out with you, then, honey, you are the problem. But the whole thing that's blowing me right now is, like, talking about some dark energy, trying to compare a tour bus to a slave ship. Like, what are you talking about right now? What? That is crazy to me, bro. That's so crazy to me. Like, you're really going to be friends with somebody for two years, but the whole time you feel like they soulless and dark? Like, you sound dumb as hell. If anything, we both need saving. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? Like, stop it right now. You talking about some, she ain't let me to the back of her room on her tour bus. She had this big room. Can I play with my see one time? In my bed one time? Like, damn, you want to sleep in my bed every day? That's crazy to me. Anyways, yeah, I'm about to actually go to sleep for real this time. I think Ice Spice has let her status get to her mind. So, honey, then her manager and her team come out and they have this to say. Now, I ain't going to read it all. You can pause it if you want to, but it's basically bullshit. Y'all played that girl. Y'all got over on her and y'all knew what y'all was doing with that girl. So basically what you are saying in this message right here is proving everything that Cleo was saying. Even if, which Cleo should have known better, if her, I, but I'm feeling she thinking, hey, Ice Spice is my friend. If she comes to me saying, hey, come on tour, you gonna be good. Then she's thinking, I don't need to go to my management team and think I'm gonna get fucked over because if my friend's telling me I'm good and I'm coming on tour, then I should be good. I'm not saying take me under your wing and pay for everything but i would feel that i'm appreciated also as me being your friend now if i'm gonna play devil's advocate because this is mr monday okay what if they was just both using each other now if you knew everybody you uses everybody this tour why did you fulfill out those 30 days and there was no contract signed like he's saying with all this professionalism talk he talking but y'all invite somebody one day before the tour that ain't damn professional nigga shut up <laughs> hello somebody but why did you stay the whole First of all, it was never professional. Let's just talk about that. You don't tell me a week in advance or ask me a week in advance you want to come on my tour. Of course she's going to want to come on the tour. Of course she's going to want to come on the tour. So she's going to try and make it happen. However, I feel like um, Cleo probably would have felt like if I try and challenge it, you know what I'm saying? I might lose the opportunity at that. So, you know, but I, I will say like the first couple of little incidences, I'm out. A whole 30 days, you knew you wanted that platform. Okay, so you used her. 
she used you, y'all used each other. Maybe y'all really weren't friends with each other anyway. I don't know. Don't get me to lie. Who knows that you was wearing bodysuits and Jordans when you first came out? Now all of a sudden, it's mini skirts, it's little dresses, and big chunky boots. Like, girl, that's me. And I'll let you have it. Because I thought we was friends. Literally. But boo, you gonna have to give it back and figure something out now. If it ain't about me, mm. let's keep it. Okay. Next to the docket, we have Chris versus Queen. <laughs> now, I don't, y'all, I really do not know what has gotten into Chris. But ever since he done started this clock over Chris shit, <laughs> Chris <laughs> has got messy. Chris, Chris been messy, but Chris has got messy. At the end of the day, I said what I said. If a, uh, if a, uh, I'm, and I'm gonna say it again. And if, I want to do something about it, I'm going to drop my Addy. What are you talking about, Twin? You heard? But look, though, I feel like if a dude, if you've been dating a dude for six plus years and he still haven't married you, why are y'all still in a relationship? Because the goal is to, ain't, ain't the goal is marriage? Or am I tripping? Ain't you? I'm not getting with somebody and I'm just staying with them and I'm not trying to marry them. I don't like bro with her. I want her to be happy and go love twin. I'm not stuck on her. I'm not, I swear to God on my kids, I'm not. I put this on everything I love. Anybody that knows me know I don't I don't care. I don't care about what she got going on, what he got going on. I've been past that, it's been six, seven plus years. But my thing is, if I want to talk about something, I'm going to talk about it. But I don't really like them being honest. She can go do way better than bro. I'm just being honest. I don't even think bro came out with a clothing line since he first met her. He now, I will be honest. I don't see anything wrong that Chris said. He was saying all the right stuff. But you saying that didn't come off good because you married her and you still fucked over on this woman. But the word on the curve is y'all didn't really like Clarence anyway. Y'all was just fucking with him because you weren't fucking with Chris. Now, that ain't what I said. That's what the streets are saying. Because now that Clarence is with this woman, Clarence ain't doing what y'all thought Clarence was going to do. I mean, he put a baby in the oven, but he didn't become a CEO of that bakery. So, child, I don't know, honey. It's like you planning this woman's face. Y'all been together this long. Y'all done had children. Y'all living together. Then why can't you wipe this woman up? So, child, after he did that, all, all of a sudden, this happens. <laughs> And everybody is gagging. They said, wait a minute, I know you fucking lying. I know this man did not go <laughs> and propose to this girl. It's giving very much, here, damn. <laughs> damn <laughs> shit the fuck up. <laughs> Bully these people. So then Queen come back and she said, well, we was just trolling, but if we weren't, look how people are coming with the negative comments. Yes. No, that was a close one on my soul. I thought they really got married. I was in my room crying day, night, and day in. Talk about, <laughs> but not on a serious note, baby girl. You do not troll us. You trolled yourself. <laughs> no, I can't do it, y'all. Okay. I'm making videos. We ain't got time to be reading all that because now we got to go through it. See what the fuck going on. What did you say? Then we don't want to miss nothing. But if I'm going to sum it up for y'all, she basically just said, while he out here doing all this hooping and hollering and bullshit, I hope he making money off of it so he can go fund his son, his son's expenses. And then she was like, y'all, he ain't taught his son nothing to say. Another man got to come up and teach his son some stuff because he ain't doing it. She said this man used to hold her down, used to beat her and stuff like that. He made her feel insecure about herself. So basically, that's why she is taking her time to get married, honey, because you have get, you have put her through so much trauma that she don't want to just rush into her next one. So she was like, look, I spent all this time with you and it was for nothing. Let me take my time, time this time. Look, man, y'all know how to come tell my side of the story. Look, I'm about to tell y'all what my BM said. Look, while he's laughing at me, I hope this coin he's making off my name helped with some of his son's expenses. Um, Cause I gave him grace by not putting him on child support. 
first of all, you make more money than me on my soul. What you talking about? And you know if you did ask me for money, you know I'm going to give you the little change I do got for my son. Come on, I don't do that. The, this whole time we've been separated, you have never asked me. Y'all want to watch this? Girl, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of him this week. For money for our son. Fast forward. And I have never asked you for money for it. And want to pepper the me. Somebody please come get this man. He said, girl, I'm at, you was already insecure, but I'm at, at her little razzle tats. Chris is, Chris is stupid on oh my soul. But he's still, <laughs> oh, y'all, but you can't lie. He. <coughs> Now the Corey and Danny saga over with. Uh huh. Y'all, that shit come and go. He's being honest. Now he didn't speak. Everybody's all shit comes and it goes. Um, the DV situation when she was saying all that, but she spoke on everything else but that. And I guess he didn't want to bring it up because he know that he did that and he didn't have nothing to say about that, which he could have just still said, you know, and I do apologize for what I did do to you. But um, <laughs> that nigga said, shit, I was so insecure too. I started wearing makeup like Chris. <laughs> oh my God. And then Queen, he said, Chris said, child, you talking about when you was with me, I was popping up. <laughs> All the money, but shit. Now you, now you doing the same thing. Yo, that is crazy. Now she make all the money. <laughs> My God, if it ain't about me, let's kick in this case. Next on the docket, we have Milk versus Ariana. Now, for those who don't know, Ariana is on TikTok and she lets everybody know that she is a transgender woman. She don't try to hide it, fool nobody, none of that. So Mel and his homeboys, they were downtown Atlanta because they're YouTubers and they were filming some content and Ariana was there with some of her homegirls. Now mind you, they was minding their business, not doing anything but being beautiful women. So Mel and his homeboys, they see them, they go down there, they like, okay, let's talk, woo woo woo, yada yada yada. <laughs> I would immediately say I'm a trans. Immediately. Tell me that's a what? Those were all men. Damn. Y'all brought that on yourself. <laughs> it's definitely a dangerous situation, but that's why y'all got to stop walking around trying to hump on everything. They was minding they fucking business as far as I'm concerned. Y'all trying to find something to hump on, they minding their business. Leave people alone. <laughs> Those are all every single one of them. Now you every feel embarrassed. How you know? I, bro, listen, my instincts. I, listen, you know what I did to figure out? I was telling me, I literally did just like this. Shake my hand. Firm ass handshake. Yes, sir. A handshake just like this. A firm ass handshake. You felt the bone. I, no, I the felt masculine. the No, nigga, I felt the veins. Damn. I felt the veins. Like she was more girly than girls. Damn. He regretted. This shit is like. Yo. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. This shit is crazy. Yeah. Why yeah. look, he made a baddie shit on his script, though. That shit crazy. Nah, no, worry about that. Bro. Like, you don't. Sound like to me. Y'all like it. Why you gotta act like that on camera? Go ahead, tap in. No. They the baddest shit on this trip. Oh, no. <laughs> you can't tell the difference. 
I guess it was live on Twitch or whatever the case may be. So now it's like we gotta save face before people think, oh, we attracted to transgender women or woo woo woo. So, honey, I don't know. I just think it was stupid because if she's pretty, she's pretty. It is what it is. You didn't sit there and say, give me your number. Let's well, fuck. they said she the baddest one. They the baddest on the strip. Yeah. Nothing like that. She ends up seeing the video on the internet. She goes and she responds <laughs> to it. And this is what she says. Oh. First of all, I'm not a man. Second of all, you heard your friend. The she is beautiful, though. <laughs> baddest shit on the strip. First of all, you fake ass Kaisenet. You all talk about some um you had to you had to do the the handshake, you did the handshake. First of all, what is what's wrong with my hands? My hands look a bit like do you do you wanna smell them? Is that like a kink for you? Like I'm confused. You all like, oh yeah, I can just tell da da da. But in the video, I clearly see you walking me down. I was walking by minding my business with this fat ass and you know, this gut. Minding my business. And here you are walking me down. So if you just knew in your heart also and well that I was just trans, why did you walk me down if you're not into that? Like it's okay if you like us, you know that? Like, you try to do that one for the camera, for the viewers, the whole time, you know, you, you, you know, uh -huh. your eye, this pretty especially thing. the other one, especially the other one. If that shit was not on camera, other buddy cub who said, um, they the baddest ones on the strip. Now that's a real nigga. He just keeping it hot. That wasn't a lie. If it's a bunch of ugly ass women out there, <laughs> it is what it is. And they, they the most attractive ones. It is what it is. Like, and yes, this nigga, this, she's beautiful. Face and his fat ass butt. Straight like that. The fuck? Y'all want to talk about some old men, 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 men? It's 2024. Live in your truth, babe. Nah, for it's real. Okay. For real. We here, we exist. Now, y'all remember what for she real, said? Though. She didn't say anybody's name. She didn't talk about anybody. She didn't make anybody look less of a man or anything. All she said was, baby, it is 2024. Live in your truth. And he knew exactly who she was talking to. He knew. Oh, God. and don't have a boy, General? Yeah, she Damn. He knew. So that's why he turned around and he made this video right here. Wait a minute. Is this what... Wait, is this what I think it is, bro? Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. <laughs> First of all, I'm not a man. Second of all, you heard your friend. The baddest shit on the strip. Ma'am, is it... Listen, okay, ma'am. Is it possible if you could... We can see through your dress, though. First of all, I'm not mm -hmm. a man. Second of all, you heard your friend. The baddest shit on the strip. First of all, you fake ass Kaisenet. You all talk about some, um, you. But in the video, I clearly see you walking me down. I was walking by minding my business with this fat ass and, you know, this gut. Minding my business. And here you are walking me down. So if you just knew in your heart also and well that I was just trans, why did you walk me down if you're not? Ma'am. I did not know that you were trans. I actually didn't know that. But when I walked up, I realized that's why I start asking for the fucking tripod. You understand? I literally start asking you for the tripod, right? I apologize for calling you a man. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to get me canceled. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's why I start asking you for the tripod. I start randomly asking you fucking questions, okay? I looked, I started saying, hold the fuck up. Right? So that's it right there. Into that. Like, it's okay if you like us, you know that? Like, you try to do that one for the camera, for the viewers, the whole time, you know, you you, you know what caught your eye. This okay, get the fuck out of here. Pretty face and this fat ass butt. Straight like that. The fuck? Y'all want to talk about some old men, 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 men? It's 2024. Live in your truth, babe. What? We I bet. All right, bet. Let me go ahead and get you up out of here. Fuck no. Mm, mm, mm. Hell nah. Mm, mm, I'm good. I'm good. Mm, mm. I'm good. Hello? Catch it! And that's why you made that video. Now, baby, you fucked up. <laughs> you fucked up. You didn't have to say none of that. You could have just watched her video if you wanted to respond to it and just been like, okay, she said what she said. You know, I do apologize for saying this. That's it. That's all. End of the video. I literally would have been like, I'm not going to lie. Uh, you are beautiful. It, shit, it is what it is. One thing you can't do is hate, y'all. Hating is an ugly-ass trait. It's a lot of people right now I do not fuck with, but I am not a hater. Some of y'all living your best lives. Shout out to you. I have never been a hater in my life. If somebody's attractive, they attractive. I mean, that, damn, that is why you holler at the nigga. Uh, however, 
I would have been like, that's my fault. I'm, I don't go that way. I assume for you to be this and you were that. So I want to kindly bow out. You know what I'm saying? And, and I would have kept it. I would have kept it moving. But it, again, you tried to kept it moving. your face. And you fucked up. Now, I really didn't want to come on here and make this video because you already know how it, you know, is misled. And, you know, the trans are always known for exposing men and, you know, putting people out there. And this is not that kind of video. This is simply to just clear my name and let it be known that I was used for clout and clickbait at this point. Simple as that. I've never exposed a person. I've never exposed anybody because I feel like at the end of the day, I'm a woman. So I don't feel like it's gay for me to mess with me. And I don't feel like, you know, if I'm a woman, what is there to expose? This is simply just to, you know, clock that tea. So let's get into it. Everyone wants to say that I've been up here trying to use him for cloud and trying to get views and click faith and this and this and that when the whole time Mel already knew who I was. Mel knew who I was when he came up to me. Let's clock that T. Let's start there. <laughs> May 2023. Is that? Ooh. There she go. Now melt. I can't see it. I don't know what that said. But damn. Go, go, go. Yeah, Mel been wanting me. Let's do that one. Mel, when he first approached me, I didn't realize who he was just because, you know, I get a lot of attention when I go out. You know, I'm just the girl, the girl. But I mean, I really am the doll. But all. So when I go out, I get a lot of attention. And in that moment, it was a lot of people running down. People was already walking by screaming, oh, that's the BBL, the BBL, the BBL, pretty bitch. The... Like, everybody was already in my face. So when he came up to me, he was talking to me. You know, I think he was trying to, you know, be on, you know, the regular type timing that he usually is. But once he realized and he saw the comments was saying, wait, oh, duh, 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 I think that's when he had to start performing. And he went into like, wait, hold on, started acting clueless and acting dumb mode because it was like, sir, you already know who I am. We've already been through this. And, you know, why get in front of a camera and try to perform? That's what my problem was. I never had an issue with anybody saying that I was trans because I am. And, um, you know, I never was a hit at anything besides the fact that you try to perform and get up here and try to embarrass me and say, oh, yeah, you could tell because my hands, which ain't wrong. Never had an issue about him clocking my tea, bitch. At the end of the day, I've been on a whole TV show for being trans, bitch. My social media is trans, trans, trans. Like, it's not a secret. At the end of the day, when I go outside in real life, baby, I'm fish. And I don't get left at the market. No shade. Period. So, yeah, I wanted to keep it cool and, you know, cordial, <laughs> but I keep waking up to new things on the blogs and it's just like sir like at the end of the day stop with the clueless ex stop with the whole you didn't know gimmick and sir you did you wanted me and that's just that like we could have just kept it you know under wraps and Damn. i would be fine like i don't speak on business so we could have just you know did that one but you want to keep Damn. making it something that it's not so now i'm going to unload the whole clip and yeah that's just that Damn. clock that tea ah! catch it hello I didn't know. I swear to God, I did not know that it was a. I did not know that it was a man. You feel me? I didn't know it was a tr transgender. But listen, I could tell that it was a man in person. I wasn't on bingo, bro. I wasn't on bingo. I couldn't tell that it wasn't. I couldn't tell that it wasn't a man. It's harder to. He's stressing me out the way he's saying it. Hell through the phone because she could. They could put filters on. Or anything, and they was basically like on some shit. I don't know what our conversation was. I don't know what our conversation was, but literally, I just thought it was a girl. I thought it was a girl, bro. <clears throat> I thought it was a girl. So like, I, bro, I DM'd her because she was talking about. I, I don't remember what it was, bro. But it was alive, and so I thought it was a girl, bro. But you know, I, bro, you see, I didn't DM them no more though, because I'm, I'm looking at the Instagram. Nigga, you already knew who she was. But no, you tell your people on the live and your homeboy, oh, I didn't know until I touched her hand. Baby, you was already in them DMs trying to talk to her. You knew her before you was out there. So that was you going to her on purpose because you wanted to talk to her. You wanted to see if your friends will fall for what you fell for, but what you actually liked. So now when your friend was like, oh, I like her. Oh, I think she Y'all think he really knew? Y'all think he really knew when he walked up to her or from behind rather?
What y'all think? She fine. She's beautiful. Oh, that's so man. Oh, you did it. You try to make your friend feel uncomfortable to cover up who you really are. That's why I be telling y'all when these men be out here talking about some oh that thing, how the fuck y'all hang that thing? Oh, that's some gay shit, nigga. You. She's not unknown. Okay. He knew who that was. He knew who that was. Hell yeah. Mm hmm. Gay as fuck. Didn't I, I the feel ones. the same way. Them be the ones they trying to make sure that they're keeping their masculinity protected so y'all don't see who they really are so you ain't looking at them. Trying to tell you, girl. Catch it! <laughs> and that's why you feel some type of way. If it ain't about me, Mel, like him, so I'm a pussy. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Next to the docket, we got to see it versus Diamond. Yeah, this was a whole lot of whole lot of us. When I saw that girl face, I said, I know you fucking lying. Who got what got hooked to her? I thought some girls jumped her. She got in a fight with a dog or something. Yeah. When I told y'all, I said, baby, that had to have been a pit bull. That is a woman. <laughs> that was an animal that mauled that woman. <laughs> I saw that lip. <laughs> I know. Was that a cotton ball or something? Girl, it was yeah. Like, it was detached. The tooth gone. Like, Ain't no way one person did. <laughs> ain't no way. I don't yep. care what y'all telling me. Y'all like see Diamond over there still apologizing and shit. Girl, ain't that much apologizing in the world to get my ass beat like that. Child, I would have been ready to go to war getting my ass whooped like that. Over there just still apologizing to people. It's Natalie, I'm sorry. Jayla, I'm sorry. Just, I'm sorry to everybody. Girl, they done played with your tooth. <laughs> Y'all, they out here playing with that woman's tooth. Okay. <laughs> Y'all, they pay, playing with her tooth. Okay. <sighs> They, they, girl, they turned that girl every way but loose. And bitch, you was dragged under a car. That is not no hands. Can't be, not, won't be. Not believing it. Ooh. I'm okay, guys, though. Don't worry about it. Still DTV. Still disturbing you, because that's what the fuck I do. And it's what I'm gonna continue to do. Okay. <laughs> it ain't nothing. Still daddy. So, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm good though. For everybody that's concerned, everybody just want to know if I'm okay. I am okay. I'm at the hospital. I'm getting it together. Girl, your whole lip. But yeah, guys. <coughs> How your lip <coughs> gets split in half? Like. This was not. Ain't my, too many sorries gonna be going on. Oh. My reunion. <laughs> so you telling this girl you want to box and all this other hoopla holla and on site and whatever the case may be. And it might be for TV, but everybody don't do shit for TV. Prashiki, you've been waiting for this moment. I'm glad the fans could see that you was a boring ass bitch. You have no personality. Bitch, without this, you would be nothing. This reunion would have nothing to do with you, bitch. You wouldn't even be invited to the reunion. Bitch, you better be thanking me, bitch. I'm giving you a storyline. You want the storyline, ho? Well, here it goes, bitch. Your boring ass needed something to do. So when I seen this video, I was like, ooh, 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 ooh. You know you done fucked up. Mm, you know you done fucked up, girl. Oh, so guess what? I'm gonna give you something to do. You talking about you eat? Well, bitch, line it the fuck up. How about that, bitch? You're mad at me? You're mad at me saying I'm a cop chaser? Well, bitch, I'd rather be a cop chaser than a dick rider who rode her sister dick to get the fame that you got now, bitch. So guess what? When I see you, ho, no talking. Line that shit up. Oh, you bitches think you tough? Oh, you bitches think you tough? Oh, sweet baby. Natalie Nunn. Hey, baddies. Catch it! <laughs> Every time I was swinging, y'all, wait till y'all see the slay. Kobe slayed this bitch. My head was swinging with me. I'm so glad. I'm gonna just say that. I'm gonna just say that, but... Bro, 
She got Malone, all right? Now tell she that girl my name about her mouth. If I had to put Slim on her. Yeah, yeah, let's talk. Yeah, yeah. Y'all better, y'all, y'all gonna put some respect on Slim name. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody that excited about whooping your ass deserved to be left alone. Somebody that excited to be fighting at all need to be left alone. Tesseki is that person. Like I said, like I said, y'all welcome and leave me the fuck alone. And, I, and I'm going to tell y'all this too. I'll be bored because I'm fucking bored. <laughs> but the lack Look of concern the Ugh. lack of sympathy lack of empathy after the situation after i had to leave the set and now i'm gonna come out talking about you know what y'all all right i have trolled a lot of people and was unapologetic and all like damn if you don't get off my screen crop uh cop and please and shit all the damn damage i done seen you do to people and they, girl not maybe not with the hands but with all that shit you was doing no go to the hospital after my tooth got knocked out, the lack of emotion <laughs> was like, it was mind blowing. Cause I'm like, like I'm hurt for real. You get what I'm saying? Like there's a difference between reality TV and real life. Like reality TV is not real. Like they think it's real cause it's called real. Yeah, this is talking and to be able to fight that girl not go that route and i would say you know what now like, okay i respect it because this ain't funny it like that girl flipped off of a motorcycle or something <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing then I seen a cough drop listen <laughs> that's how I got to have ADHD or something what made me just laugh and see a cough drop and go get it something wrong with me but listen <laughs> she absolutely did look like she fell off a motorcycle I see a truck. <laughs> to see you should be able to fight no no regular person. No, Miss getting the UFC fighting. Yeah, something you can you should be on the street. They need that's a yes. weapon. Yes, yes. But the streets is talking and the streets is saying Diamond's actually the real MVP because she deal with a lot of them girls when do them girls is scared of Tzatziki. I they agree with that. But they said this girl stood ten toe down. Now I agree with that. <clears throat> and hell, far as I'm concerned, I think Diamond should come back. I think Diamond should be able to come back. Um, and you know, go ahead and squash it out with Tessica and she can ride out. You took an ass whooping. Cause I'm gonna tell you right now, I ain't Tessica, you better leave me alone, girl. We got this bullets out here for you. <laughs> no, ma'am. No, no, no. You are not about to world star me. Got my toothers hanging out. Got my lip hanging low. <laughs> girl. Who would expect a, a, a whole chunk of their lip? To come off they mouth. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Girl, police, you will not be world starring me. I'll be like, Tessica, look. <laughs> look, look here, baby. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let me tell you something here. Look here, look here. Look here, sugar. <laughs> okay. We won't be doing none of that today. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> not me. <laughs> Ooh. That's cute, but you won't be world starring me. All right, I'm going to go and go about my business now. <laughs> All right. You stay over there, I'm going to stay over there. I ain't got time for that shit. Fuck no. When you get to a certain age, none of that matters. None of that matters. Call me pussy, whatever, girl. I, I got shit to do in the morning. <laughs> you think I'm about to play with her? Please. Girl, just hold <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> Woo! Uh-uh. No, 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 no. On oh, what she said she was going to do when all them other girls... Tessica need a, a goddamn tranquilizer, Jeff. You calm? You calming down? You calming down? You... You calming down? 
Now listen, <laughs> leave me alone. And I'm ducking and dodging as she's swinging at me going down off that tranquilizer. And I'm going to tell you right now, Tessiki's so crazy. Uh, girl, it's going to take 20 minutes. Just 20 minutes for her to get down on that tranquilizer. Uh, no. Go fight a man or something. Leave me alone. Mace ain't going to uh, help that. You think Mace going to stop Tessiki? No. Y'all don't understand she like this shit. You get what I'm saying? That that damn Mace ain't gonna do nothing but turn her up. Turn her up, okay? She give me, they used to practice in the backyard, just spray Mace in the air, run through it, and see who can handle it and shit. All right. Ah, ah, yeah, I'm good, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> Ah, it's been five minutes. I ain't even tripping. <laughs> Eyes burning and shit. I can still beat the bitch up. Look, I can still beat up. I can still beat the bitch up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, no. No, tranquilizer. She need to get hit from 20 feet. As she cussing you out, running your way, she will slowly be deteriorating. You know what I'm saying? Then you need to taper, mm -mm. chain her to a chair or something, so you can have a conversation with her when she wake up. All right. If that's the case, I fucked up. You took that ass from me. You took that L, ah. which gave you a W, girl. So, bitch. What? <laughs> I don't know. Hell no. The only way you was going to be able to beat that woman was with some bear mace. And the way she act, the way she was that ass, I don't even know if that bear mace would have stopped her. But they said that she, that girl told you to leave her alone. You kept she did. her. She did. You know what I mean? And then you said you did it for TV and you were doing it for the views and you thought that's really what it was for and it wasn't no real shit, but girl. <laughs> In Tesseki's defense, I will say it, she did not want to beat that girl up. <laughs> she was like, y'all, no. <laughs> Come. Come on now. <laughs> Girl, Diamond Heart was probably beating out her chest before she came there. And Ted Second just coming in on a regular day. Just... Hey, you all. Ready to whoop some ass. I think all y'all was on the same page, baby. Catch it. All right, if it ain't about me, let's keep keeping it. Okay. All right, that is all I have for Missy Monday. Y'all make sure y'all continue to see me the mess. Please, y'all, keep your hands to yourself. Okay, Stop. all that. Fighting on each other like that. Just fine. She fine, they fine. And I just fine. It need to get caught. It need to get caught. It's been hot too long. It's time, it's time it to get It has been hot too long. Up. I will say the first little bit of heat I felt, I knew it's going to be one of them summers. And guess what? It was. Guess where I was at? In the house. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.